Okay, so you're going to um, melt three tablespoons of butter. No. Okay. So you're going to use um, half of a cup of butter. Make sure you melt it and let it cool. Um, and then you're going to use, you're going to need three tablespoons of flour and um, one and a half, or yeah, one and a half of butter and make sure you melt it and put in the microwave for 30 seconds and let it cool. And you should get, you should mix it up. We're using this, sorry. Um, but you're just going to mix it up to look like this consistency. And you're going to pour it with your beautiful apples. And guys, make sure whenever you're done slicing all your apples, you you may have like a little bit of seeds in the middle. So make sure you cut those off once you're done. I think I have a video of how I cut them. But you're going to use seven apples. Um, and this is how it much it looks like. Look at that. You can use more apples if you would like. But seven is the quality that you should do. Okay, guys, don't forget to subscribe. You're going to use a... Um, nine by 1.5 inch pan or 23 by four centimeter pan. Should be this big and this big. You're going to add some uh, spray, spray pan and you're going to add some flour on top and sprinkle it around and you should get like this as greased up. And now you're going to add brown sugar um, I think you're just going to eyeball it, but you're just going to add as much sugar as you think you would like. If you like it sweet, then add a lot. If you like it Swedish, like not as sweet, then add it a little bit. And we're going to just mix it up with our apples. And this looks amazing. Look how we're going to start pouring our mixture on top of our amazing apples. You can use half or a little bit more, but I think my mom is going to either use half. I think she's going to do half of it. Um, just to get it a little bit of wetness and make it kind of clump together. Now See you're going guys, to add um, a little bit of lemon juice on top. Guys, I forgot to say, make sure you use seven apples and make sure they are the um, Granny Smith apples. So those are probably kind of sour and a little Swedish, but they're perfect for apple pies. My mom's adding a little bit more brown sugar um, and she added a little bit more of this butter mixture. Just gonna mix that up, and that looks pretty good. Okay, now we're going to add the rest of our mixture inside of our apples. Look at that. Mm -hmm. This is how it should look like so far. You can tell every single one of them is in that mixture. And if you look at the bottom, it's like a brownish consistency. You get to preheat your oven for 425 Fahrenheit for 12 minutes. Now you're going to add one tablespoon of sugar and actually two tablespoons of sugar. And you're just going to pour that inside your mixture. So, sorry, I mixed that up. It's actually two tablespoons of sugar inside of your mixture. Look at this goodness. My and mom's now gonna, we're gonna put some cinnamon. What she said. You could just eyeball it as much cinnamon as you want. This kind of dish is a little bit eyeballing, you know, but watch. It's gonna my mom's gonna make it the best apple pie you'll ever make in your life. Look at this. And you're gonna use a cinnamon, oh grounded cinnamon for this. We use the Crocher Van brand and um, yeah, this works like a charm. And mix, mix, mix. Oh my God, my mom just made me try the juice of it. It's sour and sweet and oh my God, and amazing. Guys, you gotta make this, you gotta make this. But subscribe if you want okay. to. Okay guys, you're going to be kneading this pie crust for the top. Um, unroll and bake, it's two, two to nine inches pie crust. And um, yeah, we're just using this brand. And we're gonna place it on top. You're going to grab your plate and roll down your pie crust on top of it. Look at that. You're not gonna cook it, you know, you don't wanna pour anything wet like the mixture inside of your pie crust because you're just gonna cook it for a few minutes to harden it up a little. And make sure you're just gonna smush the edges and make it nice and tight and roll up the sides if you would like that. Now you're gonna get a fork and stab the bottom of it. Oh. You could use a knife as well. It works like a charm as well. Now place it inside of the oven. For just two minutes. For just two minutes and let her crisp nice and hard. I'm obsessed with this batter. Guys, go watch that video. You're gonna die whenever you make it. Super easy. And it's probably products you already have at home. So make it for it. Mm -hmm. Subscribe. Oh, so delicious. <laughs> I think I'm obsessed with it. I, I don't know what to say. I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> oh, Nathan.
Felsies, you wanna try my cinnamon? You wanna try my cinnamon apple pie? Sit. Felsies? Yes. Yeah. You wanna some? Mm. Okay guys, you're just gonna add a little bit more of this grounded cinnamon um, because we love cinnamon. Um, so this is optional again, if you would like a little bit more cinnamon inside of your mixture. Mix that bad boy up and coat it all with that good juice. Make sure you slice the edges because you don't want any skin. Kind of tastes weird. Let's do the taste test. Amazing, amazing. Oh, it's perfect. Like it has a mouth. It has the right amount of sauce, amount of spice, and then you could tell like a little bit of lemon. If you could try this, you would die. You would die. But my pumpkin, on the other hand, they're the same thing. They're both amazing. Like I can't, I can't make up my mind. She's almost ready. Sorry, it's a little dirty. <laughs> But it's almost ready. And this part is when you start cleaning up your kitchen because you want to keep it speaking clean. Clean. And let's go to the rest. Guys, did I tell you how much I love baking? If you go check on the Godzilla Sisters channel, you can see whenever I was younger, I made a banana pie, no, banana cake, and it was amazing. So go check that out as well because I love baking because it's super fun, super easy, and you're going to have a yummy treat after you're done and you realize you put in all this hard work for the best thing you ever had in your life. So, yep. Look at these goodness things. The apple one. And our pumpkin one. Ooh, I can't wait. She's going to add a little bit of flour, like a little pinch, almost it. like salt. It's gonna thicken it. It's gonna thicken it, like she said. <laughs> add as much as you need in order to thicken it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Let's see if it gets any thicker. Yes, yep. for sure. Bella wants some so bad. Right, Nikki? You wanna try some? I know she wants it. I mean, who wouldn't want it? And guys, at the end of this, you can add your apple pie, put a little bit of ice cream on top, a little bit of whipped cream, and a little bit of cinnamon. Mm, make it taste delicious. And for your pie, add some whipped cream, a little bit of cinnamon, and you're done, and it tastes amazing. I can't wait for the after results. Um, okay, stand. Guys, I won't stop bugging you. Just please subscribe. Please subscribe. What does that have to do? Just press that button. Just subscribe. Oh. And also, guys, remember, I'm doing martial arts. I can't wait for this video to upload. Um, comment down below what martial arts training you guys would like to learn. It could be a front kick. It could be a side kick. It could be anything. And also gymnastics. If you want to learn how to do round off, I'll show you how to do so. So just comment down below what you would like to learn. And I got you. Also, don't forget, if you want any food ideas or any food things, for Christmas, Halloween, anything, let me know too. I will do anything for you guys. The good stuff. Which is the apples. You can hear that sizzle. We just took it out of the oven, as you can see. And it looks amazing. Uh huh. We're pouring in all of our apples. See that oh juice God, on the side? Say no to that. <laughs> <laughs> it looks amazing. I'm just gonna wait until we're completely done. So awesome. And now we gotta clean up more. This is Sprinkle a little cinnamon and you're good to go. Now you're going to add your butter mixture that we made and you're gonna pour on top. And by the way, this butter mixture is kind of pretty important for this pie. Look at that, goodness. Ooh, so yummy. You're going to sprinkle a little bit of brown sugar on top. And guys, I'm so sorry if you hear both of us talking at the same time. We're doing the same videos, just someone's talking differently. So, yeah. Look how much sugar. Oh my God, that already looks amazing. My mouth is like watering. Oh, look at that bad boy. He got some sugar, some cinnamon on top, a little bit of that butter mixture. Oh. And the top. Okay, guys, you're going to add the top that is. to your pie. We're just going to smooth the edges, push it down a little. Roll on the side, look at that. You, you're gonna push it down with your fingers, one, like a little bit at a time, and make sure it's like a little bit smushed on the wall, like the bottom one. Ooh, that looks good. My mom's gonna keep it covered like this, so it like, you know, I'm not sure why, but I guess you could do it any way. You could do it that way, or this way, or do a few holes on the top, whatever you would like. This part doesn't really matter that much. My mom's just gonna puncture a few holes on the top so it can cook through the heat to cook inside the apples. Now my now we're smushing the sides of them just to completely compress all of them. And now we're going to add it inside of our oven. Again. 
sorry that it's a dirty here, but this is what it looks like. It looks good. It's looking good. Wow, that looks so beautiful. Something is smoking on Oh my god. It's a little burnt, but that's gonna be okay. That looks so beautiful. Like, you can't say no to that. You guys, this is what it looks like. But my mom, she's gonna cover it now so it doesn't burn again. It looks so beautiful. Uh, the apples are a little hard. Is that good or bad? It's okay. Okay, you guys, now this is the final result. See when the bubbles, this you is know what it's ready. Like. Well, my mom just said it, when it bubbles, you know that it's ready. Because I think that's the okay, apples. Yep. Okay, guys, look at this goodness. We finally finished it. Ooh, it's like golden on the top and nice in the inside. It's perfect, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, E Gymnastics, and have an amazing day. Guys, this is what it looks like. This is the ice cream, and this is the pie. It's so good.